ridiculous. It's 32. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, sorry about my voice. I've got a bit of a power. Man flu come on last week. So I finally got my hands on the specialised power saddle. This is one of the short saddles that I've been wanting to try for a long time. And uh, finally been testing it for about a month. So I've got mixed views on it, not really got on with it. And uh, stick around to find out why. Now this is the cheapest version of the uh, power saddle. So it's quite heavy, it's about 260 grams. And for reference, this Dimension 143 is 145. Uh, this one's got quite substantial plastic um, injection molded base. And on this one, which is the cheaper version, it's actually got a lot more padding than the more expensive, lighter versions. Now, is that a good thing? I'm not so sure it is. You know, the softer the mattress you have, the more pressure that comes off those bony points and goes in between the hard points of your body basically and it's the same with the saddle so the softer the saddle the more pressure comes off the sit bones and because your sit bones kind of sink in and then the more pressure comes up on the softer parts of you so yes it might be good for immediate comfort but I'm not convinced the softer padding is any good for the um, real sit bone and kind of skeletal support now the other thing that I don't really get on with this saddle is the large amount of rocker in it and that's kind of the curvature from the front to the back and as you can see at the back it really kicks up in the tail and because of that curvature you do find yourself being kind of you kind of sink into the middle of the saddle that's fine but if you've got on your bike quite an extreme position from saddle to bar just because I mean that's the size I am I, I've got the biggest frame I can get um, then because of that rocker and that kick up at the back, you have to run the saddle really nose down to not feel your soft tissues on the front of the saddle. And then the drawback of that is then you feel a bit of like destabilization on the saddle and your shoulders and arms stiffen up a bit. And then you end up just sitting on the nose of the saddle, which completely kind of deletes the reason why you got this saddle in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so ill, I can't even think of my bloody words today. Um, yeah, it kind of voids the design of the saddle if you're just going to sit on the front of it. I mean, I do run my saddles a little bit nose down anyway, um, because I have such an extreme position because of the size of the bloke that I am. Um, and that's just, I do like to bait, I do like to bear quite a lot of weight on my hands, so I don't mind that. But this just looks ridiculous to get, to get comfortable on this saddle because of the, the scoop on it, the curvature, I have to run it almost like that and it, it doesn't feel stable. And uh, the saddle that I'm not riding at the moment, which I have another review on, I'll put a link up that here, is the Pro Stealth. And um, it was a bit anti that saddle when I first got it because I was riding it a lot on the trainer and I really did find the lack of padding quite uncomfortable. It had really thin padding and a very stiff base on it. But going back to that, every time I think about that saddle now, and it's got, it's, it's got a lot of extra width at the nose. And having ridden my TT bike, which has got an ISM saddle, which is famously very wide at the nose, unlike these uh, short stubby saddles I kind of am preferring that that shape having more width at the nose so when your pelvis is rotated extreme extremely forward you do you can sit comfortably on that on that pubic bone on the V of that pubic bone and not on the on the soft tissues in between battery died emergency camera swap so what I was saying is have these short saddles have had their day uh, no I don't think they have but I think they are becoming less and less popular because they fit a smaller window of people than originally thought. Um, it's taken me a long time to find one which I get comfortable on, and that's the Pro logo and, and the Pro. But this one, which seems to be you, you're pretty ubiquitous, I really can't get on with this one. And I think it's a combination of too much flare angle, so it goes from very narrow to very wide too quickly. And that means you can't sit at the back because you feel it on your thighs, and you can't sit at the front because it's too narrow and there's no kind of middle ground. The other reason is I find the padding a little bit soft and I do feel it on soft tissues because you sink into that like soft mattress effect. And the next thing I'm going to try is, I mean, I really like this one. There's nothing wrong with this one, but I'm going to try my TT saddle on my road bike. Now, for most that's going to be sacrilege because, you know, looking at a, an ISM TT saddle on a road bike, it just looks horrible. But uh, with all these things, if it's more comfortable and it allows you to put more power out, then it's going to be better. But uh, yeah, I'm not convinced about this Specialized and I'll probably put it out for sale because out of the other two I've got, is my least favourite and I'm probably not going to ride it. And they're very expensive, like this one is the basic one. 
Um, it's a lot heavier than the basic Pro Stealth, and it's about the same price. So, I mean, all specialized stuff is expensive, isn't it? But uh, yeah, not really getting on with it. Um, but the funny thing is, is from a, at a quick glance, these saddles look so similar. When you sit on them in the same position, they feel so different. So you really do have to try each one individually. And um, yes, I can get on with this one by tilting it down a lot more, but then you kind of you lose all the benefits of a good saddle, like the pelvic stability and everything. So uh, if I ride it level like that with the drop that I've got, um, because of the kick up at the front the, and the curvature of the saddle, I have to rotate my uh, pelvis backwards on the saddle. I have to tip it up like that to alleviate the soft tissue pressure, which puts, which puts a big arc in my back. And that disconnects my glutes from working and it strains my lower back on a longer ride and it, it just feels uncomfortable. Um, and I've, I've checked that on the turbo trainer. I've done some like video analysis on the turbo trainer and with this specialized saddle compared to this one, I am rocking back my pelvis to try and stop the, the pressure at the front. So the <laughs> again, the problem is once you know about these things, like once you think about what's actually happening down there and your anatomy and how it interacts with the saddle, you you really it kind of destroys your ride because you, you you're waiting for that soft tissue pressure you're you're waiting for that sensation and then it kind of bugs you it kind of gets on your mind once it's on your mind it's very difficult to forget so I'm saying if you don't have any problems with your saddle don't even think about it and don't change it because once you start thinking about it it can really piss you off so yeah that's a quick review on the specialized power sorry about my voice I need to get better but um, actually it just came out today to get bit of fresh air because I've had cabin fever and um, I missed a race this morning because I'm ill so yeah it's nice to get out and not look at power numbers. Cheers!